Welcome to the YouTube channel of SAP with K on C. This is a YouTube channel started by two SAP professionals, Kundan and Chundan. And its objective is to share the information and knowledge on the SAP. If you are an SAP experienced professional, a newly trained SAP consultant, an SAP student, or just an aspirant who wants to enter the world of SAP, we recommend you subscribe to our channel. Also, if you like our videos, please like and share them in your network. We look forward to your suggestions and recommendations on improving our content. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can migrate the data to SAP S4 HANA using staging tables. This document will help the consultant to understand how to migrate the data to SAP S4 HANA on the on-premises system by using SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit using staging tables. To start this, call LTMC on the on-premises system. Click on Create and then select Transfer Data from Staging Tables. In the pop-up, click on Create. To search an appropriate database connection, click here. A valid database connection must already exist. Select an appropriate database connection, and create a new project name. Here you can see the migration project has been created, and, here is the list of all available migration objects in the system. Let us do it for the customer master. You will see a warning message. Click the OK button. Please note that a separate staging table for each source structure of a migration object will be created natively on the schema of the HANA database depending on the selected database connection. In this case we are going to select slash 1 L T slash D S Q E X 001308. This will take us to the next page. As you can see, there is no data available on the staging table. To fill the staging table, the user can use the SAP HANA Studio. In the SAP HANA Studio, select your database schema and the staging table, which you want to fill with the required data. With the help of a technical consultant, you can use the necessary SQL code to insert data and once it is done, click on the Execute button. In this document, just for the purpose of information, we are inserting two customers. As you can see on the screen, the screenshot that you are seeing currently is what you will see after executing. As you can see, the data is uploaded successfully. Once these steps are done, we again go back to our SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit procedure. Click on the drop down here and select Unprocessed. This page will open. Then we will click on Back. This page will open. Here click on Start Transfer. A warning pop-up will be displayed. Click on OK. The migration data is active, and the first step is to validate the data as shown previously. Once the validating process is completed, click on the Close button. This will take you to this page. It shows the results of the data validation. It also indicates that the user needs to maintain and confirm value mappings in the next step. For that, please click on the Next button. Here in the second step, value conversion can be done, if any value needs to be converted or mapped, between source and target fields. To check customer number range, that is, internal or external, click on the, customer internal or external numbering. This pop-up will be displayed, click on, save. This will close the pop-up and save the information. Now, to select the settings for integration with external systems, select, Use Customer ID for integration with external systems. This will open another pop-up. Click on, Save. And this will way we will save with, no integration option. In order to confirm the source and target grouping value, click on, Mapping of Business Partner Grouping. Check the information in the pop-up, and click on, Save. We will do a similar exercise for the mapping of customers, as seen on your screen. And then, we will do the same for, mapping country. Once all validation is done, click on, next steps button. In the third step, the system will start simulating the data for staging tables. Once it is complete, click on, close button. After the simulation, click on, next. In the fourth step, the system will start importing the data into staging tables. Once the data import is complete, click on, 
close. After this, we will get a message which will confirm that all data has been processed. Then click on Finish. Now, to check the details in the staging table, click on the staging table. In the drop down, select Processed. You will see that both the customer masters are created in the system. You can check the same in S4 HANAR. This way we can successfully create the customer master using LTMC. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos on SAP.